Is there a way to know when something happens live? Okay. What if there's something that's just something you need something proactive? Okay, because not every you you are a one person show. You just it can't it can't just you can't do all the work. So you need some help. That's where network monitoring softwares come into play. <laughs> Welcome to Techmas Day 2. Today's topic is going to be on network monitoring software. So we're going to discuss my list of the top seven network monitoring softwares of 2020. Now this list is not going to be in any particular order. They're just going to be on the list. That's it. <laughs> First up on the list, we have SolarWinds Network Performance Monitor. SolarWinds made this list because it is a well-known name and I'm sure you have heard of SolarWinds. Why are they on this list? Easy. They're customizable. They're scalable. They use auto discovery to find your devices. It has multi-vendor capabilities. And whereas before, previously, it was only for on-premise, now they support Azure. And isn't that great for anybody who has an Azure environment? You can now use SolarWinds. What about the cost? Hmm, let's talk about that because everybody wants to talk money. Right? So with SolarWinds, you actually can purchase a one-time lifetime license. And that starts at $2,995. Or you could do a monthly subscription that starts at $1,583. Number two, PRTG. Okay, have you been in the game? You have heard of this one. They do operate with Windows OS. It's customizable as well. The nice thing about it is that it actually has apps. You get live live alerts on your phone with their Android and iOS apps, so that's always a plus. It does support hybrid environments, so it supports cloud and on-premise infrastructure. If you like kind of the not so bland looking thing, it is very colorful. It is, it is very, very colorful. And the best thing about it is that it uses multiple, multiple ways of monitoring your devices. It uses SNMP, it uses HTTP requests, it uses ping, it uses REST API, and et cetera. All of that is used with PRTG. So the best thing about PRT, PRTG is that there is a free version, but it supports up to 100 hosts only. But to get the paid version you can actually try it for 30 days free with the trial but the paid version comes out to annually $1,750. Number three logic monitor. This is also a hybrid style network monitoring software so it does both cloud and on-premise monitoring. It has auto discovery which is always a plus so you don't have to individually put in no IP addresses or anything for your host. The good thing about it is that it also provides trend analysis. It gives you live details, okay? Live outages, live everything. It's also customizable. And the good thing about it is that you can actually automate it. Pricing, hmm, I couldn't find any, right? But it is known to be pretty expensive. I honestly wouldn't be surprised if this was well over $3,000 <laughs> to purchase. Uh, the good thing about it is it does also have a free trial to you. Next up, Datadog. <laughs> it also supports hybrid environments, so cloud on-prem. It also shows live monitoring. The thing about it is that it is agent-based. So in order to use it, you do need to install agents on your device. So that, that is something if you don't like agent-based software then this may not be it for you and also it doesn't have auto discovery but that doesn't necessarily mean that it isn't a great option because it is and it is much more cost effective than some of the other ones speaking of cost so they do have a 14 day free trial but you pay with this per host okay and their pricing starts at five dollars a month for each host so this could be a better solution for smaller environments someone just starting out doesn't have too many hosts that it needs to monitoring then this is actually it makes sense to use this as a solution versus any of the other ones next up Nagios XI 
the cool thing about Nagios is it is open source. People prefer that sometimes, but it is it is a great, great software. There are hundreds of third-party add-ons that you can use. It is also customizable, and obviously with it being open source, it is very, very flexible. The thing about it, it does support Windows, Linux, VMware, types of environments, uh, types of operating systems and environments as well. So if you have all that, this might be an option for you. This could be a pro for people who have a lot of time on their hands and that enjoy doing this, but you can customize your own plugins to use for this software and that could be a good thing now because it is open source and you have all these options at your fingertips it is not my personal opinion it is not very it is not something for someone that is new to network monitoring software nagios does distribute as a vm so if you prefer that boom option right here this is yours this is your option okay pricing now it does start at $19.95 and let me change it back that ain't $19.95 $1,995 but there is a free version that you can use that works up to seven hosts next up what's up gold also a hybrid monitoring system works for both cloud and on-prem environments this works on windows os and it's also web-based so there you go this is another software that is very user friendly also customizable so this is good for people that like the colors and and like ease of access and ease of use <laughs> this is a good one for you too also provides real-time monitoring along with auto discovery and the cool thing about it is that it can actually map out topologies by <laughs> you know whenever it sends out the request to, to discover all the devices it can actually create a topology of your environment now if it's going to be accurate probably not but it could work it could work this software also has apps on both android and ios that you can use but when it comes to pricing i couldn't find any <laughs> and they don't advertise their price because I, it is customizable per business or per person so they don't advertise their price but there is a there is a free trial that you can use to test it out to see if you like it so last up on this list zabbix zabbix is also open source so if that is yo jam zabbix the good thing about zabbix is this is actually pretty flexible with any infrastructure that you have so that is a big 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 pro also very user friendly customizable so obviously you are in an open source environment so there's a lot of documentation from thousands of users that are using this so that is good on you for this program there aren't any specific vendor lock-ins it's it's really pretty freaking sweet <laughs> it can also auto detect devices and configuration changes as well this is a linux based monitoring software and the cool thing about it it can actually predict traffic trends based off of the history so that's actually pretty cool with this software in and of itself. The only thing is that it, it's not real time. So it's, it's delayed a little bit. So depending on how you want things to be, this could still work from you, you know, weigh the pros and the cons out because one of the biggest pros about this, it is 100% free, 100% free. So if this is something that you might be interested in trying out, I recommend it. Especially because it's free. I mean, who don't like free stuff? Just because it's free doesn't mean it's bad. And it's open source. And there's a bunch of, and it's a community out there that you could get ideas with. So, Zabbix. Okay, that's it. That's my list. That's my list. Again, no particular order. This was just my list of 2020 that I feel have been the, that I feel are the best network monitoring softwares out on the market today. Obviously, there are a crap ton <laughs> let me know down in the comments below what your favorite monitoring software is and you know we could have some banter back and forth discuss let me know if i didn't mention one that you think i should try or look at all that stuff let me know let me know i would be glad 
to test this out. I'm always looking to try out new things, so do that. Day two of 12, by the way. So posting every day for 12 days. Jingle, jingle. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Peace.